Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it has been quite some time. Things have been pretty crazy, as you may have probably noticed if you're not an idiot. There is a different background. Uh, I have moved. The dust is finally settled. And now I am going to be back on the YouTube train for real this time. Um, so it has been far too long since I made a Space Engineers video, so I'm not even going to try to recap all the changes that have occurred since the last video I made. Other than the fact that we have planets now, but if you follow Space Engineers, you probably fucking know that already. So, what this is going to be, this is just going to be, um, just becoming reacquainted with everything. Um, I'm going to show you what I've done, a little bit that I've done in the uh, Space Engineers world since I last was in here. It's been quite some time. Uh, and then starting this video will be the first episode of my planet survival exploration series. So at the moment none of my friends are online, but I figured this would be a good opportunity to just kind of show you what's going on. So what we have here is I am on the ice moon. Um, not really a moon per se, it's Europa. It has uh, a very thin atmosphere, it doesn't have oxygen as you can see on the bottom right. Uh, very low gravity, a quarter of the no um, normal gravity. Now, we landed here not too terribly long ago using this ship here, which uh, I haven't played in so long. The, this was my first attempt at a ship that used hydrogen. Um, so as you can see here, it, it is, it's a hybrid ship. It uses both atmospheric thrusters as well as hydrogen. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am getting over, uh, I don't even know what, but I felt like I was dying for the longest time, and I'm still kind of stuffy and congested, so just bear with me, alright? But yeah, we have this um, monstrosity that we flew here in, and we came here from the Terran planet over there. Um, I'll show you that base in a minute. This is just a small little outpost that we have here that I wanted to establish. Um... Mainly because I want this, I figured this place was all going to be ice, and it is. Everywhere you look, instead of stone, it's ice. Fucking everywhere. Great for fuel, great for oxygen, all sorts of shit. And basically, I decided to make this outpost here because I want to use this as a staging point to get to the Martian planet, which I believe that's it over there. Just the kind of a, in an eclipse right now. And the alien planet, which I'm not entirely sure where it is anymore. It's been a while. But basically, Europa is going to be acting as a staging point. Um, it's got low gravity, so it'll be easy to escape from. Shit ton of ice, plenty of fuel, and we have just about everything we need. As you can see, we have a bunch of different uh, GPS waypoints set up. Um, another reason why we came here is to uh, get platinum which we found in an asteroid not too terribly far away it's still actually in the gravity well of the planet which makes absolutely no sense but you know what we'll let it slide um, I wonder if they're gonna be changing that if you know if they're gonna be changing that let me know in the comments uh, but yeah this is our little outpost it's not much to look at at the moment the general plan for this is just to get this enclosed get the oxygen running so we don't always have to have our helmets on and just be worried about constantly refilling everything. Um, that's why I already have this oxygen pressurizer. Oh, just a little look. We got some battery powered shit. We got the hydrogen tank, the oxygen generators tucked underneath all that, and the assembler. Um, nothing too terribly fancy. We've got our solar panels. And really, there's not much to look at here. Now, if you've never been to the Europa planet, I actually spawned this in when I was still. Um, landlocked on that planet. Um, the thing about this planet is there are there's ore underneath the surface, and you see all these little rocks out here. If I pull out a drill, there's actually ore inside of these things. Like this one in particular has nickel on the inside. Uh, I don't think every single one has ore in it, but they it seems to have a pretty damn high chance of having ore in it. And this one, as you can see has uh, magnesium so yeah I mean this planet's been pretty good to us so far 
But I want to show you our base on the Terran planet. And uh, also, I have a small little platform set up in space just outside of the gravity well of that planet. Um, not really sure why. This is before that was before I spawned in uh, Europa. So let me just uh, drop off all of my equipment here, and we will kill ourselves. Yes. And we will spawn at the med bay on the Terran planet, which I'm not entirely sure what I called it. Medical room. Tobias, spawn here. Probably that one. Oh yeah, here we go. Whoa, what the fuck is going on? Okay. We're good. Alright, but yeah, here we are on the uh, Terran planet. As we can see, the um, the outpost on Europa is like 308,000 meters away. It's quite a little hike. Um, yeah, uh, Gister decided to dig this little moat. Uh, there's not really too much to look at here. Uh, in case you're not aware, this is actually kind of important to know. On the Terran planet, they've added these robo-dogs that come in small packs. And when they get to you, they fucking explode. So I had to retrofit the base with some turrets quickly before everything got blown up. Uh, yeah. So this is a f reasonably well defended base against the uh, the robo dot robo dog incursions. Um, it served us pretty well. This is where I spent a good chunk of my time on the server, I'm just gathering, um, just looking at the stars, just wishing that I could get up there. And I did eventually. Um, decent amount of trial and error. It took a couple of times to get the, uh... Whoa. Oh, you see that? Robodog. Robodog. Right there. It just got killed. But yeah, um, thankfully these turrets are pretty damn good at killing these things. Uh, you can interact with them. They drop a little bit of loot. Same with the space spiders on the alien planet. Which, I believe, is that over there. Yeah, that's the alien planet there, that's the Martian planet, and they both have their own moon. I'm not entirely sure, I haven't played this too much since planets came out. But I'm pretty sure the Terran planet has a moon as well. Not as awesome as Europa, though. But yeah, this is basically the base. Um, this is a little cargo thing where you can uh, offload everything. Um, and something I've been struggling with, I read that if you use... Ah! My bad. Uh, I read that if you use the conveyor sorter and have everything turn off, that you can transfer hydrogen from one tank to another. Um, I got it to work once, and then I've just been having a lot of problems with it. So that's something I plan on working on to figure out how to do fuel transfers, if it really is a thing. If you guys know how to do that already, uh, let us know. Other people might be wondering about that besides me. Um... So, you know, just be cool like that. Um, but yeah, this video is basically just uh, to let you know what I've been up to. Uh, things have been pretty busy in the real world, but again, the dust is settling. I've got some things in order. To, i got someone helping me with the, uh, with the social media, so I won't be just ignoring you on Facebook and Twitter and all that shit. Which, by the way, I'll put those links in the description. You should totally follow me. Um... Yeah, but expect regular videos from me once again. Um, this is just kind of the awkward pilot after being gone for several months. Um, yeah, that's enough about all that shit. Let's just start building stuff. It is space engineers, after all. So this base is fairly well established. I don't really have much interest in working on this at the moment. I want to get this little spaceport, little outpost up there, uh, excuse me, a little bit more established. So I'm just going to murder myself again, and I will respawn at the Europa Med Bay. As everything renders in, this is kind of terrifying. Okay, is it, it can render in at any time now, okay, it's just taking its time. Okay, there's no longer a bottomless abyss right there in front of me. Okay, cool. 
Um, but yeah, uh, everything's looking pretty good so far. We got everything we need. We have a uranium deposit out that way. We got uh, all sorts of shit. So let's go ahead and start getting more of this stuff that I want in place. I don't want this BS. I want the good stuff. If you're not already aware, they have added um, tiered tools. So, here I'll just show you how much faster this is at grinding. Um, on my server, I believe I have the welding and grinding speed at just 3x. Um, honestly, I could probably just put that at 1x to make it more uh, essential to upgrade your tools. Just a more survival-y experience. Uh, yeah, and here we have Geister's Trap House. I don't know why he named it that. It's Geister. Um, yeah, looking pretty good so far. We have a nice little functional outpost. Uh, just needs to be enclosed. Uh, just gonna get. We need interior plate. We need steel plate. Um, what else do we need for the interior blocks? Oh, fuck, what tab do I have that in? Oh, there we go. If you don't already know, you can use Shift 1, Shift 2, Shift 3, etc., etc., to switch between different toolbars so you don't have to keep going to the G menu and constantly changing everything around. You can have. Oh, excuse me, god damn it! You can have a toolbar for different things, like base building or like interior shit, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, this is by no by no means a new feature. It's just something random. I'm deciding to tell you. It is my okay? No, creative tools is not on. Okay, good. Oh, my bad. It's not um, steel plate. It's construction component that's used for that shit. Uh, so we'll get rid of these steel plates. We'll just get some construction components, and it looks like we're gonna need some more. Just queue up a little bit of that, a little bit of that. All right, so what I'm just gonna do here is ah oh, oh god I'm sorry okay everything's fine nothing to see here everything is a okay now how do the fuck did I do this how did I how did I do it over here no I didn't I didn't have the curve in there um. But yeah, if you guys have anything in particular you want to see me do in Space Engineers, just feel free to let me know. I'm always up for um, suggestions. Um, if you want to see us do anything wild and crazy in this, this is just kind of an open, just survival, exploration kind of deal with planets and asteroids. So right now we're just kind of getting on our feet on here. we got a lot of work we got to do yet with everything. Um, getting things established, but as soon as we can, we're gonna start heading out there, going on just crazy exploration missions, you know, maybe sending some nukes at the alien planet, random shit like that, just because, you know, our usual shenanigans, um, that you have missed dearly, I am sure, but fear not, the Stromboli has got you. You know, I don't even really need a fucking interior wall out there. I can just grind that down. Yeah, that's right. Grind you down real good. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, something I didn't think about is we need to decide where we're going to put the doors. Hmm. One thing I'm kind of thinking about doing that's a little crazy is just grinding down this hill. Because we're kind of on the pole, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the sun is just kind of moving around like that. And for a while, it disappears behind that hill. So, uh, you know, if we get rid of that hill, we get more solar power. Food for thought. Always like to use solar power because you can use uranium for more exciting things like, I don't know, missiles. I don't know if it's just me, but I like seeing stuff blow the fuck up. Uh, it's probably not just me, let's be honest. Okay, so we're, I'm gonna put a door in here. Um, door. You have all sorts of doors. I really like this sliding door that they've added in. Folding door. 
Huh. Let's put it in here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. But yeah, I've, this is part of the stock game now. Uh, they added in a while ago, but um, it's just a really nice door. I don't know why I'm just so obsessed with it, but it's just a nice fucking door, you know. Uh, display motor, small steel tube, construction component. Okay, just arm and a leg and your firstborn child. Roger that. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of random shit. I don't really care. Okay, that should almost do it. Maybe, probably. Yeah, I'll do it. Build it that way. Okay, computers and bulletproof glass. Of course, computers and bulletproof glass. There's the bulletproof glass and there's the computers. All right, so this door will be completed. And since this is going to need to be an airlock system, um, I'm either going to get some code to automatically close the doors behind me, or maybe write it myself. I don't fucking know yet. Um, but yeah, this is going to be this is going to need to jut out a little bit. Need at least two doors, obviously, for an airlock. Captain Obvious to the rescue! Uh, but yeah, that's going to be pretty fucking good. Also, um. Not sure if you're aware, but uh, Angus is going to be on quite a bit more. Don't know if you remember him. Um, he actually finally got a computer that doesn't fucking suck dick. So he's going to be able to join us on all sorts of more exciting things. I'm going to be getting more series going on, and um, I want to start a campaign series in From the Depths. If you guys are familiar with that game, it's pretty excellent. It's one of my my more favorite games. And Planet Side 2, which is free to play. Um, if you guys ever want someone to play with in Planet Side 2, From the Depths, or just any game, uh, feel free to add me on Steam. I will link my profile in the description, as I sometimes kind of do. Um, uh, again, don't forget to click on the links for my Facebook page. There'll be regular updates on what I'm up to, or random shit. Um, I'm thinking about getting an Instagram going for it and connecting up to my Facebook. It's just random shit. It's actually my girlfriend managing all that stuff now. Uh, so, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, Facebook, Twitter, possibly Instagram will keep you guys in the loop. And I have a Steam group that I'm going to start um, using again since, you know, I'm back. I'm back, baby. Uh, I used to use that Steam group to plan events. Um, just like, hey, you want to play with me and my friends? Uh, it's always open. I post the events. It's a public group. Feel free to invite your friends. Uh, the goal of it is just for it to be uh, a community to just play shit together and have a good time. That's just kind of what my whole channel is about, basically. Just having a good fucking time. Uh, but yeah, we're about 18 minutes in. It's about how long I like to keep my videos. And this is just kind of like a, hey guys, I'm back. And letting you know what I'm up to. So I think this is probably pretty good for my first time back. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave something on my Facebook, my Twitter, uh, or leave comments on YouTube. That also works. Um, yeah, and until next time, this is Ryan from Stromboli Fucking Games, signing off. Thanks for watching. <laughs>